Good day viewers, my name is Mr. Famu Akayode from A Plus Model School. Today we'll be looking into the subject social study. On this we want to look into the topic drug abuse. Under this we'll be looking into the meaning, effects and sources of drug abuse. Now on our next slide we have the objectives of the lesson. People should be able to explain one, the meaning of drug abuse. 2. Factors contributing to drug abuse. 3. Effect of abuse of stimulants. Now to start with, we have the meaning of drug abuse. Drug abuse is the use of drug without recommendation by an expert in the medical field. Or drug abuse is the use of drug without doctor's prescription. So this can be explained in the sense that when anyone uses drug without doctor's prescription it is tagged drug abuse now there are some factors that determines uh, or that contribute to drug abuse number one factors is ignorance now ignorance is the state of not getting knowledge when you are supposed to get it about a particular thing or when you failed to have a knowledge about a particular thing and you went ahead to do it ignorantly many people are ignorant of the fact that it is wrong to buy drugs from hawkers that is people who hawk drugs or medicine store without recommendation there are some medicine store or pharmacy store that are not recognized by the government or by the NAVDAC or by any regulatory body that looks into the medical drugs. But people go there ignorantly to buy what? To buy drugs, which is very dangerous for their health. And indirectly or directly, they are abusing drugs some people are ignorant in the sense that they see their friend using a particular drug but because they felt the drug makes the friend to feel good they went ahead and actually used the drug also this can also be tagged as drug abuse through ignorance the second point B is peer pressure peer pressure peer pressure group is just a group of people of a, the same a, probably the same age grade or the same goals or targets or even the same result fighting towards the same result now pressure used to set in amongst peers that is amongst friends you might have some friends that are smoking marijuana or smoking india m at the end of the day they can mount some pressure on you every day by saying you don't know what is going on you have to use this thing so that you'll be okay but at the end of the day by the time you use them you find out that you are abusing drug and it will give you nothing but a temporal happiness and before you know you become an addict and finally it can destroy one's life now the third point here is condoment the word condoment simply means when you allow things to happen that is you give chance for that thing to happen in some countries or some civilized countries like usa or uk you find out that they do not allow hawkers to sell drug that is people who hawk drugs who sell drugs around they do not allow that because they know it is dangerous people can go ahead to abuse drug at any point in time when such thing is allowed but in some countries like the countries probably the country we are you see some people hawking drugs and they are allowed they are permitted at some points maybe without the uh, direct consent of the government but people around or people who are close to them allow them to do it without even encouraging them that it is very bad for them to do that but in a country like this I think it is hard sometimes to blame people because some people sell drugs to fuel 
to feed their family but that is not where we are going today but the fact is that it shouldn't be allowed for anybody to hawk drugs around it shouldn't be condoned in a country now a pharmacy store some pharmacy store allow patients to purchase drug without the prescription of a doctor which is very bad so that means a pharmacist or a regulatory body of a medical line should not allow or should not condone the selling of drug without doctor's prescriptions now finally on this which is point d we want to look into addition what do we mean by addition addition means that when someone is being addicted when you can't do without a particular thing some people cannot do without using a drug they can't do i don't mean without using paracetamol or whatever even paracetamol some people go ahead to abuse it some people have stunned paracetamol to everyday drug they use to give them energy believing that we always give them energy which is wrong it is wrong abused of uh, it is wrong use of drug which can be tagged as drug abused but in some cases some people use marijuana they smoke marijuana they smoke in the eye they use cocaine so so as to stimulate their body at the end of the, this simply means they are abusing drug which is very dangerous for their head also now on our next slide we'll be looking into the effect of abused stimulants when we say stimulants stimulants are hard drugs like india hemp like cocaine like heroin and so on and so forth so we want to see the effect of people who abuse these stimulants that is we want to see the effect of these stimulants on them number one is that which is alphabet a as the drug work the user becomes restless what does this mean it means it meant that when someone who abused drug or who used a stimulant immediately they use the stimulant they will become restless their body will not be rest will not be at rest they won't be calm to do something they will just be doing everything in uh, in, a, in a scattered way the point b is that it results to sleeplessness they won't be able to sleep they will, they will, it will result to them having a sleepless night and probably day also. Now, point alphabet C says many people have had mental disorder because of drug abuse, which is true. Many madmen you see today are as a result of them to have abused drug, most especially smoking of marijuana which is popularly known as Igbo now point alphabet D says the people lost appetite because of delight in the drug more than food now most people who abuse drug find think they find happiness or they thought there is happiness in it for them than eating food so they would rather use the money on them to purchase drug than to go and purchase food so this can lead them or can make them to lost appetite in eating now the last point on this which is point alphabet e is that they withdraw from people because the drug is not publicly accepted this simply can be seen in some people who use marijuana that is who smoke marijuana which is popularly known as Igbo you can't see anybody smoking Igbo in the marketplace or in a fuel station or at a public place because one they can be arrested two it is not acceptable so they would rather withdraw themselves to one corner and gradually it sets them to be an introvert a forced introvert and when you become a forced introvert it might finally lead you to having depression or to being depressed so this is very bad and these are the effects of 
abuse of stimulants on their users now we have two other points on this but i think that can be done as uh, an assignment later later you can also go to find some other effect of this abuse of stimulants on their users now we have the socio-economic effects of these uh, stimulants that is abuse of drug on their users that is when we say socio-economic it simply means that their social life in terms of their finance so what happens to their finance someone who abuse drug someone who collect salary and go to use the money to buy uh, drinks or to buy beer at the end of the day he won't have much money to save for his life he won't have a balanced saving now point number one there a says most drug abusers becomes lazy and therefore perform poorly in their work so if you see someone who abuse drug continuously or consistently you see that the person won't be able to work when he is not using the drug he will be lazy and he will, he will, he will therefore become a person that perform poorly at work he won't be able to work effectively point alphabet b says they need much money for drugs so they become debtors yes it will lead them to becoming a debtor to their neighbor to their friends to their family because there is no money on them again to get the drugs they will rather go and borrow because they can't do without the drug they have become an addict now point alphabet c some become thieves fraudulent and take to arm robbery some they will become a froster like a yahoo boy or become a thieves or become an arm robber in the sense that they want to buy a drug because they know they can't do without the drug again they have become an addict so they want to get the drug by fire by force so they will do and undo they will do anything to get the drug so they will rather become a thief once they cannot go to work at any place again they will become a thief they will become a froster they will become an arm robber and so on and so forth just to get money for drug and this will lead to an adverse effect on the society that's why we said the socio-economic effect now point alphabet d those who are students drop out of school now some students who abuse drug in school at the end of the day they won't have much money on them to further their education even when they send money to them they would rather use the money to go and use drug at the end of the day they won't be able to further and they won't have any choice than to leave the school than to drop out from the school now the last point on this which is point alphabet e some becomes social outcasts who are not wanted at the end of the day when people abuse drug they become thug they become tout they become rascal to the society at the end of the day they can land land in jail they can land in the prison they can land in the police cell so therefore they have been restricted out of the society so which is the last part of this and funny enough someone who abused drug might initially would have been a lawyer to the society or would have been a doctor to the society but because he has sold his soul or he has sold his mentality or a mentality to abusing drug he won't be able to become this uh, particular profession that will be of advantage to the society therefore it will lead to a minus to the society when he is being remanded in the prison and this is the last socio-economic effect of drug abuse now lastly for today we'll be looking into sources of drugs there are two main sources of drug one we have the small scale sources that is people who sell in a small uh, scale medium 
like such as one occurs people who sell around abalist three provision seller people who sell provisions snack stores people who sell snacks can also be selling drugs then pharmacists are also under small scale sources then beer parlor are also under small scale sources hotels club houses etc etc are all under small scale sources of drug now lastly we have large scale sources such as clinic hospital drug manufacturer and drug bureau so those are large scale that is those people where you can get drugs in a large amount so th those are the places you can get it in a large scale you can get it at the clinic you can get it in the hospital you can get it uh, uh, from a drug manufacturer you can get it from a drug baron a drug baron can be a cocaine dealer so that is the end of our lesson but before we go there are some diagrams here that indicate or that shows some hard drugs that are uh, commonly abused by people first we have alcohol there we have cocaine ayahuasca we have a lot of them here we have mescaline marijuana we have kainones we have heroin cannabis and so on and so forth then on this again we have others the lsd marijuana steroid cocaine pcp methanine and so on and so forth alcohol now on this diagram we see in the middle we see drug abuse then uh, beside it we we'll see some word that are written there that is those word are things that drug abuse can cause it can cause dependence it can make you to to depend on people for money to survive and it can affect your health you can see health intervention remission rehab opioid then we can see heroin and so many other things that it can cause just read the chart you understand its addition it can lead to addition and so many convulsion can lead to con con convulsion psychosis injection relapse and so on and so forth so to the end of our lesson today we'll be saying no to drug so this is a simple sign to say no to drug and i hope you will say no to drug also so we have come to the end of the lesson like i said i want you to go home and have this as your assignment um i have some other two abuse of stimulants effects of abuse of stimulant that i can actually add but actually add them for you to have a research on your own so as to uh, equip yourself also and build yourself to also teach others now i will enjoin you to subscribe to our youtube channel to subscribe to our update always as we update or it on our youtube channel and in our next lesson i will advise that you read and reread the note as written in, on each slide um till you have your weekly test so that you can be well prepared and have a good result thank you god bless you see you in the next class